Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock the new iOS 4.2.1 firmware on your iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS using the new Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5. Now guys, I'm sorry to get your hopes up, but this will not work on the iPhone 4 just yet. But the iPhone dev team is working on it and the unlock should be out pretty soon. And I'm all, we're also going to be using Ultra Snow from Cydia to unlock your phone. So what you guys need, to basically you guys need the Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5. Make sure you download that and save it to your desktop. You guys need to have it to your desktop and just extract into a folder. And as you guys can see right there. Um, then you guys need your iPhone 3GS or iPhone 3G firmware. So you guys need to download that, the 4.2.1 firmware. And this will also work with the 4.1 firmware. So you guys can download whatever you want you want. Uh, but you guys need that firmware. And put these both on your desktop. That's very important to put these both on your desktop or it will crash and stuff. So once you guys, sorry about that. Once you guys have these two files, we're going to open up Red Snow. And there it is, Red Snow. And double click. And there it is, that little box right there. So, as you guys can see, welcome to Red Snow 0.9.6 B5, which is Beta 5. Now, please select the corresponding IPSW for your current firmware. So, you guys are going to go to Browse. And we are going to scroll down. And we're going to click Open. And just let it process. Shouldn't take too long. Also, guys, very, very important right now. If you guys do want to upgrade, I mean, sorry, if you guys do want to unlock your iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS on the 4.2.1 firmware, what Red Snow basically does, it basically upgrades your baseband to the iPad's baseband. And once you guys upgrade to the iPad's baseband, I think it's 6.15, I'm not sure. But once you guys upgrade your the baseband using Red Snow, you guys will never be able to restore to a firmware from Apple again, uh, an official firmware. You guys will never be able to update to an official Apple firmware, and you'll have to update through custom firmwares and whatever. So you guys, basically, you need to keep that in mind before doing this unlocking stuff. So just keep that in mind. It's very important that you guys do know that. So sorry I didn't tell you at the beginning of the video, uh, but that's very important. And just click Next. And preparing jailbreak data. And let's just let this load really quick. Shouldn't take too long. Kind of sick right now. Sorry, I haven't been making videos for the last like week or so. Been kind of sick and stuff with Thanksgiving over the weekend. I just haven't had a lot of time. Okay, so enough of me talking. Here it is. Please select your options. And so basically, guys, make sure Cydia install Cydia is checked. So I'm just gonna check right there and enable battery percentage. Don't check that. That was already checked for some reason. Uh, but basically, guys, go to install iPad baseband. Now, once you guys click install iPod base iPad baseband, sorry. It's, it will say this option lets you upgrade your iPhone baseband to an iPad baseband that can be carrier unlocked with Ultra Snow. Warning, if you choose to do this, you won't be able to downgrade back to a normal iPhone baseband. Uh, you'll also avoid any Apple warranties. They can easily detect the baseband if you bring it in for service. Starting with for firmware 4.2.1, you won't be able to restore to stock IPSWs, which is basically the Apple uh, original firmware from right directly from Apple. Only custom ones from Ponage Tools. So you guys, be sure to um, understand the consequences of this before choosing to upgrade the iPad baseband. Are you sure you want to do this? Now guys, that's what I was saying at the beginning of the video. Just click yes if you guys really want to do it. So make sure you have install Cydia checked and install iPad baseband checked. And that's basically it. Then just click next. Alright, so now you guys need to basically put your device into DFU mode. I don't have an iPhone 3GS or iPhone 3G, so I really can't do that. But basically put your device into DFU mode and... Base, turn your device off and plug it into the computer and just click next and get ready to put your device into DFU mode. Enter into DFU mode and once it's in DFU mode, it should start running the unlock and the jailbreak or uh, the baseband update and the jailbreak, sorry, and install in city and all that kind of stuff. It will run all of that. Code should start running down your screen and basically you're able to install the new Ultra Snow and you guys will have city on your iPhone. And also, guys, Make sure you're on the 4.2.1 firmware before doing this. Make sure you guys update in iTunes before doing this jailbreak. So then, uh, basically, I can't really show you, but uh, it will start jailbreaking all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to click cancel now. And also, before, sorry guys, I, I keep on forgetting all this stuff. But also, before you guys run Red Snow, if you have a Windows Vista or Windows 7, you're going to want to right click on the redsnow.exe and go to properties and go to compatibility and run this program in compatibility 4 and you're going to want service pack 2 windows xp service pack 2 just click that and you guys are going to have to go apply and click ok 
And that's basically it, guys. If you guys only have Windows 7 or Windows Vista, uh, you guys need to do that or it won't work sometimes and all that kind of stuff. So, guys, basically that's it. That's how you do the uh, computer portion. Now we're going to move on to my iPod because I don't have the iPhone 3GS or iPhone 3G. I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the new Ultra Snow and all that kind of stuff. So, let's get started with that. See ya. Alright guys, so once you have finished the first portion of my video, what you guys need to do now is install the Ultra Snow from Cydia. So guys, make sure you did everything I told you to do in the first portion of my video, and now let's install Ultra Snow. And this basically is the unlock. So guys, I know this is my iPod Touch, I don't have the iPhone 3GS or 3G, um, so I'm just showing you guys just for an example. Uh, this is the same thing you would do on the iPhone 3GS or 3G, so... Alright, so we're going to head on into Cydia. And let's let this load. Sometimes it takes a while with all the reloading data and all that kind of stuff. I am kind of sick again, so like I said, sorry. So let's just let this load really quick. And guys, this is the new Cydia, as you guys can see. Um, that will come in the Cydia, the Red Snow update. I, I'm pretty sure that will come in the Red Snow update, the new updated Cydia. There's not really much of a difference. I think it's just a matter of speed, a speed difference, and a, a new loading screen, it looks like. Because I don't, I don't really notice a difference. And there's the updating database that pops up every single time I upload. Uh, I click on Cydia and it says reloading data and all that kind of stuff. So let's just let this load. And all right. And it's still downloading the packages. So let's just let this wait, load. I mean. <laughs> Alright, starting to get kind of annoying. Load, please. And there it is, reloading data. So let's just let this lay. This part shouldn't take too long. And it's still reloading the data. Oh. Why is this? Alright, finally. Alright, so once it's done that, go to search. And you guys are basically, if you don't already, well, first, if you guys don't already have this source, let me show you guys what I mean. It is the, let me find it really quick. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's down here, sorry. It's the repo.666, sorry, repo666. As you guys can see there, repo666.ultrasnow.com. So if you guys, it usually comes with city and all that kind of stuff. So you guys probably will have it, but just in case, add that source. And I'll post that in the video description below if you guys need to add it. So then go to search, right there, go to search. And we're going to search for Ultra Snow. So click right there. And Ultra Snow. And make sure Snow... There it is right there, I'm just showing you guys. But uh, make sure snow is spelled with a zero right there, as you guys can see. So guys, go to the repo six, repo666.ultrasnow.com one, right in the it says right there, uh, from repo666.ultrasnow.com, and click on that. And you guys are gonna wanna install it. Now since I'm, you obviously can't unlock an iPod, uh, so I'm not gonna try it on my iPod, but that's what you basically guys do. You basically click install, and you install it, wait for it to install, shouldn't take too long. And again, I apologize for using my iPod. I don't have the iPhone 3G or 3GS, I have the iPhone 4. So I apologize for using my iPod, but this is what exactly what you do on the iPhone 3GS or 3G. Um, so then just click the center button when you guys finish installing or just wait for it to exit. I think we'll ask you to reboot. Yeah, we'll ask you to reboot and you guys will go to the springboard again. And basically just take out your, uh, open up your SIM card slot with a paper clip or whatever and put in your, uh, such as Verizon T-Mobile SIM card and go into settings. And if it doesn't activate right away, it doesn't show, go to airplane mode. And right there, as you guys can see, very front page of settings, click on. And as you guys see, the little airplane popped up, and then click off. And it should activate the data service. And that's basically, guys, that's how you unlock your device running only 4.2.1 firmware. Again, this will only work for the iPhone 3GS and iPhone 3G. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll try to help you if you leave a comment, if you send a message to me, I, I'll try my best to get back to you as fast as possible. I do have a lot of messages coming in at this time, so it's kind of hard for me to get to everyone. Um, but guys, that's basically it. That's how you unlock the 4.2.1 firmware. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like my videos, and see you.